So the impact of this freeze is wide ranging. So in fact, it's having a harsh impact on wildlife, putting Houston's largest bat colony at risk. The temperature is sending them into hypothermic shock and they will die unless they can warm up. ABC 13's Brianna Connor joins us live from the Wa Bridge with what the only bat rehabilitator in Houston is now doing to save them. Brianna. Mexican free tail bats live underneath this bridge. They like to hang out right in those crevices that you can see, but it's not actually warm enough in there to protect them from this freeze. So when the shock hits their bodies, they fall down right here onto the pavement. The Humane Society's wildlife director has been coming out here ever since early this morning, scooping up the bats on the ground and taking about 200 so far home for rehab. So here's one. The search is on underneath the Wa Bridge. Watch your step. With a flashlight and a collection box. He looks dead. Mary Warwick is single-handedly saving our Mexican free tail bat from freezing to death. Poor little guys. She carefully places oh, the cold stunned bats oh next to a heat source to bring up their body temperature. After that, we get we give them fluids under their skin to hydrate them. And then several hours after that, we can start offering them food. The Wabridge bat colony was about 300,000 strong before traumatic weather events like Hurricane Harvey, the freeze in February of 2021, and now this winter freeze. Warwick says it may be enough to force them to find a new home outside of Houston. We might lose them. Yeah, they might migrate farther south. Um, I don't know. I hope I hope we can keep them and I hope um, if we can build a community that takes care of them through events like this that we can uh, keep them here longer. Warwick says our ecosystem needs these bats to eat pests like moths and mosquitoes, a favor for humans that we can return right now with the right attitude and the right tools. You just need to get a box kind of like this or a shoe box and get some cardboard, sweep them into the box, keep them warm, keep them dry, don't do anything else with them, tape the box up, bring them to us. After rehab and after the free snaps, the bats will be released to rejoin the colony. In Houston, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.